Hello, my name's Simon Gilbert and I'm the Technical Services Director for Celebri UK. Today I'd like to introduce our Kobe add-on, uh, which was developed directly with customers on real-life projects. It's available through the Solution Centre as a freely available add-on for our subscription users. It gives the ability to actually check the model against a set of defined rules which are in line with the demand matrix which specifies when a piece of information is meant to be required. But we'll also check geometry and other, other components for issues in the model itself. We should be doing this prior to creating the COBE data. It provides a flexible set of mapping which will enable us to actually take data from any authoring system and map that to the standard which is the export to COBE. Okay, so if we dive into the solution, just some basic concepts. Uh, the Kobe sheet is actually created by a number of fields that would exist within the model. And in this case here, we have the asset type. Now on the left-hand side here with the classifications, we've got a classification for each one of those fields. Now the ability to actually map from different pieces of software is done through the classification. So if I open the classification up here, what I can see is that I can see different authoring systems which are mapping from different locations within the software. So if we need to remap them, then we can easily just do that on the fly for any pieces of data. Once we've actually created that, it gives us a list that then we can then check during the rules. The classifications we've just looked at pass data to the rules to check the geometry and the data information against the model to ensure compliance with COBE. If we go down the list here, we can see a number of checks that are checking type and component information, and we can then check things such as the component must have a name. And if we then go down to the next rule, we can see the next rule's failed where it says components must have a unique identifier. When I click on that and look at the results, the results show me on screen the list of components that haven't got a unique identifier. We can wrap these up into a slide and pass them back to the design teams in order to fix the issues prior to creating the Kobe output. We've configured the classifications to take the data from the different pieces of software in order to create a list of components that can then be checked against the rules. The rules check to ensure that the data is correct and there's no overlapping geometry or components that shouldn't actually make the Kobe, Kobe deliverable. When we're happy with that data and we know it's correct, we can then calculate the Kobe spreadsheet. And we can do that by hitting the calculate button. It then goes through, uses the mapping that we've actually generated and then populates the sheet for us. Once we're happy with the sheet and we've actually evaluated and looked through it, because we can actually visually see the components against the relevant uh, items because it's a bi-directional link, we can then hit the report button which generates our final output. 